and that goes into the NIL deals and stuff now where a student it's crazy because now there's no rest season. Well, what before we get into it, what is NI that I wanted to what is NIL? Like what what does that have to I'm do not with about college? to chop it. Well, I, I I'm saying basically is it's an arrangement with certain p- companies, certain businesses with the um whether it's uh, college football or basketball, basically getting partnership, paying athletes for their likeness or for their influence throughout college, and it's legal now. You know, you never be able to pay college athletes. So that's another thing I was going to speak on with Deion Sanders and the next subject was the NIL deals and the portals. Like, how much do you think that affects college now? Like, not just with Colorado, but we see what it do. It's a great example, but it's so much different from when we were in college where you get stuck. If you don't, you know what I'm saying? And then you're not making money. There's a lot of people who probably missed out on opportunities because this wasn't around then. I mean, there's, there's plenty of people who missed out on the system. The system's totally different now than what it was. You damn near still had to kind of like kids weren't full scholarships and still broke. You know what I'm saying? So now it's where you can make money. You get sponsorships. You can sign autographs and keep your money. You know what I'm saying? Whereas back then, you couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people who lost their Heismans, lost rings. You know, lost other playing awards, time, yeah. lost awards because of things like this. And now it's changed. It's just like the marijuana laws where people were penalized and now it's OK. And it's kind of a smack in the face of everybody who was penalized, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, subjugated to it. But it's also dope because kids have their their future in their hands where at first they didn't, where usually you have to transfer, sit out a year, red shirt, whatever it is you got to do to sustain your eligibility, where now is, I can say, hey, man, that's what I'm going to play for them. If they accept me, it's all good. I'm balling there. There's no, you know, there's no issue. And I can pay for it, too, if I want to. So I think it's in a better place, but there's still powers that be. You know, that's why people don't even understand the difference between, you know, FSB and Power 5, and, you know, they think it's all the same, and it's really not. You know what I'm saying? Different powers, different laws, different rules. Um. A major thing that I think about with the NILs and the portals is I I didn't really even look into the portal until now. Like I heard, okay, portal's cool. I never thought about how it really works until Dion did all this. And we start seeing kids who were there or coming there like, hey, I'm jumping into the portal. So when I look it up, it's basically saying it gives college athletes the ability to transfer within a certain amount of time to another school and have the eligibility not be affected and not have to redshirt. And that is amazing. So along with the NIL deals, portals are allowing people and kids to make changes. And if they don't feel like this school is good for them, this situation is good for them, I can make a move. Or if I got a chance, just like um, the running back, what's his name? Uh, Trey Sanders from Alabama. Yeah, like yeah. he he said he's at Alabama. He's like, hey, prime, you know, you got some room. Said, oh, you got room for me? You That's know? major. That that gives him opportunity. Like you said, he's at Alabama, but he's probably playing behind or playing. He with. was hurt. There's you know the depth charge crazy. Yeah, and you know it's real because a lot of Alabama fans were like, hey, go ahead do your thing. You know, we wish you luck because you are a stud. So it goes to show you, it's giving kids their control back. You know, I know I'm not doing good here where you, you used to be stuck in a situation and politics and rules and bylaws kept you there. Where now it's going to say, hey, this, this isn't good for me. And we can come to a mutual understanding where you can find somebody else to give my scholarship and I can take it and go somewhere else where they're offering. Me but you have to be so, picked up, though. No, yeah, that's you, what, yeah. yeah, don't leave unless you picked up. But yeah, people you know, realize you're going to have portal and be sitting there. Before we leave this, I just want to say with Dion watching that auditorium and he told that one in 11 team from last year, that he was bringing his own luggage, and it was Louie. I almost fell on the ground. That dog. was hilarious, yeah, dog. Because I know they was like, um, excuse me, Negro. Yeah. We play here. Yeah. He's like, oh, I don't care about none of that. We're trying to win. But so. that's how they do. That's how we do uh, with their own, you know. No, that's why I tell people. Like, the people are mad because his son, he said son's going to be the starting quarterback. But how many times has – Johnny Ray Johnson, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> got junior the third, yeah, you know, got a starting position swinging, yeah. or a head position or manager or a managerial position because of who's in his family. So it's what should be going on. Um, 